protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. A number of viewers have been asking us on Facebook, when are we going to look at this new range of Bailey Pegasus models known as the GT65? Well, we've done it. And we've got a number here, because in point of fact, there are five in the range. And the one we're going to focus on here is called the Bologna. So what's special about the way this Pegasus is built? Instead of lots of screws holding the sides to the front, it uses Alutec and clamps. And, oh look, here they are. And you can see the clamping system that is so unique. In addition, the sides are made with GRP. No, not yet. Wait a minute. Um, GRP is what some people call fiberglass and is easy to repair. Inside there, yes now, instead of timber, it's a special plastic that looks like timber, cuts like timber, but doesn't go rotten like timber. The GT65 Bologna, like the Turin, is a twin axle model. And this one has high quality Michelin tyres, which is unusual. It also has high tensile bolts, which ensure that when tightened properly, the wheels don't come off. Out of sight underneath is a magic box which detects instability when you're towing and it acts at once by activating the brakes and curing that instability at a moment's notice. I once wrote in a caravan magazine, why don't the manufacturers make fairings that you can stand on? And Bailey took a notice of that and they made this some years ago. So now, we can clean the flies off because we can reach. And with this wonderful picture window, we can start to enjoy the fantastic view that it offers. Goodness, what a spacious caravan. Look at the height, for example. And this kitchen. I haven't seen a big worktop like this for a long time. I think I could even bake a cake on this. And what's the cooker like? Well, first of all, it isn't just three burners. There's the electricity option as well for versatility. And of course, there's the grill and other things there. When it's time to wash up, big capacity sink, nice quality tap. Just hope there's some sort of draining board, otherwise the water would discharge all over my trousers. And look across here, because I think this is a good improvement too. We now see a microwave oven that isn't right up high, that isn't dangerous, that uh, if you did spill the coffee, well, it's not all over your face. That is not being fitted until now, and I think that's a great improvement. This lounge is really big. I'm amazed by the comfort of it. Now, the reason it's big is because the normal arrangement is to put a gas cylinder locker here. Bailey's taken it and moved it in the central part near the axle. And that's freed up all this space and provides a wonderful lounge. In fact, I could almost fall asleep now. On that note, let's move off and have a look in the bedroom. And so for the master bedroom in the Bologna, look at the thickness of this mattress. Now that's comfort, isn't it? Now I'm about six foot tall, not quite, a fraction under. So how long is this bed? Even behind my head, there's acres of space. I think this is stunning. It's better than at home. And let's remember too, that underneath, once we hinge this all up, there's enough storage to put an elephant in there. In the Bologna, behind that big bed, is the washroom. A nice little hand basin, a nice view across there. Though in point of fact, there may be occasions when you want to have privacy. Thanks to the height of this van, there's a lot of space and elbow room to enjoy a really good shower. And also finally, I noticed that there's a warm air outlet here from the whale underfloor heater to keep you nice and cosy. And good gracious me, you could even sit here and enjoy your feet getting warm. Isn't that good? So that's the GT65 Bologna. But I said there were five in the range. So let's have a look at some of the others. This is the Ancona, about two feet shorter than the Bologna, a smaller bathroom, but it's a six berth, and these bunk beds are permanently created. In midships, there's a table and chair, which makes up into a double bunk again. The master bedroom is right at the front of this van, 
and has to be made up for night. So for any family with say four children or children and friends, this is the van that you would probably be looking at. The Verona is the same length as the Ancona and it's also a single axle. But it's interesting because it has the layout that we looked at in the Bologna, the double bed, the big bathroom across the back, it's reduced things by losing the bunk beds and there's a little bit of reduction in the length of the kitchen to achieve that shorter overall length of van. Ideal for the person wanting to take a partner and two others. The Rimini is around an inch longer than the Verona and the Ancona and its layout is similar except it's for people who prefer single beds rather than a big double bed. And the implications of that on this four berth van is that the bathroom is accessed by a central door instead of one at one edge. And really frankly it's similar in every other respect. The twin axle Turin is rather like the twin axle Bologna except this one is a six berth model instead of four. And the six berths are made up as follows. At the front of the van there's a twin berth. This is a section with a bunk instead of the kitchen which has now appeared over on this side and then in the back there's the big master double bed that we looked at earlier. A wonderful van if you want a twin axle that accommodates six people. So those are the five models in Bailey's GT65 celebratory range. There's something there for everybody. The prices run from just over 16,000 to around 19,000. A few people would be critical and say that externally it does look a little boxy. Maybe, but all in all, these well-equipped vans are going to provide anybody with a really happy caravanning holiday.